Welcome back. If you just joined us, you're watching the News at 10, broadcasting on channels television live from Lagos. A reminder of our top stories. President Buhari laments the depth of infrastructural decay in Nigeria, saying the country was materially and morally vandalized. Court dismisses appeal by Senate President Bukola Saraki against the Code of Conduct Tribunal. Nigerian students on amnesty program protest in South Africa over unpaid stipends. And world leaders chart new diplomatic path to end Syria's civil war as talks resume in Vienna. Do remember that all our top stories can be found on our website, channelstv.com and on youtube.com slash channelsweb. You can also visit m.channelstv.com to view us live on a mobile device and download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS and Windows phones from their respective stores. We also encourage you to interact, to interact with the Channels Eyewitness feature in the Channels TV app on the Android, iOS and Windows platforms. So if you have pictures or videos you'd like to share with us, please tap the application on your device, swipe to reveal the Eyewitness menu and follow the instructions. Speaking of which, here are a few pictures sent in to our eyewitness portal, beginning with this one showing children out of school hawking in Kuje Abuja. Uh, as you can see, they're taking a nap after a long and hard day's work. Our witness reporter is asking authorities to make sure that this ends as soon as possible. Next is this one showing a long queue at a filling station in Akure, Ondo State. Our reporter says fuel scarcity is fast creeping and creeping into the state. If you have pictures or videos like to urge urges concerned authorities to look into it. Finally, is this one our reporter says is in Ibiade General Hospital in Ugu State, what's aside local government area. He says this health facility has been abandoned for a long time. He's asking the Ugu State government and the Ministry of Health to do everything possible to make sure that it is up and running. Thank you for sending in those pictures and know that you too can become an eyewitness reporter for Channels Television. And more than 30 Nigerian students under the Niger Delta Amnesty Program have besieged the Nigerian High Commission in Pretoria over what they call unpaid stipends going back four months. The students came in buses from Port Elizabeth in the Eastern Cape Province. They travelled over a thousand kilometres to the mission and insisted they would remain there until they're paid. Our correspondent, Betsy Dibia, has more. The students, 33 of them, travelled over a thousand kilometres from the Nelson Mandela Metropolitan University in Port Elizabeth to Pretoria. They came in with placards uh, stating that they were not paid their tuition fee for upwards of five months. And uh, the situation was so bad that the South African police had to come around here. So it was a sorry sight. These students are uh, part of the Nigerian young men who have been brought for education and then some craft learning, skill acquisition uh, from the, in the Ninja Delta Amnesty Program. Speaking to Channel's television via telephone, the student leader, Thangot Emesiobi, gave a breakdown in their claim. Four months in training allowance, three months accommodation fees, their annual book allowance had been unpaid. 36 students have already been evicted and exams are just a few days away. That, however, wasn't their only problem. There were several other problems. Issues of uh, visa expiration, passport expiration, which nobody knew. And uh, from what I've gathered, there has not been any link at all between the amnesty office and the High Commission, so to speak. Otherwise, we would have been in the picture that this was a problem on ground. The problem of payment was somewhat sorted and the students headed back to base. Fortunately, we were able to get uh, documents which they had uh, written to the, to the government and uh, that's the amnesty office which they are responsible to. The good thing was before they left, were able to succeed in um, procuring some of their money by way of alerts which they received while even 
at the premises of the High Commission. So a good number of them got their money paid to them and um, they were able to live peacefully. For those whose documents have expired and therefore bank accounts frozen, the Trump funds is another additional headache. But the students say they are hopeful they will be better cared for going forward. From Pretoria, South Africa, Betsy Dibia, Channels Television News. Baptist Academy, one of Nigeria's foremost legacy schools, is celebrating 160 years of existence. Activities to mark the week-long program include the anniversary lecture, which focused on the falling standards of secondary school education. The guest lecturer, Professor Dewu Shobuwale, lamented the removal of history lessons from schools. He asked governments at all levels to stop using the policy of free education as a mere political tool for elections. 160 years of building legacies, 160 years of educating the boy child, 160 years it has remained in business and the testimonies abound. Nigeria's premium school, Baptiste Academy, is 160 years old. Being a training institution of repute, it's no surprise that part of the activities for celebration is this anniversary lecture. Wrapped in attention, these aspiring boys, with the support of their seniors or old boys, listen to the guest lecturer, an old boy himself, as he tells us the daunting challenges of today's secondary education. Some of the glaring challenges of secondary education today include poor infrastructure, such as inadequate classrooms, dilapidated buildings, damaged or blown up roofs that expose students and teachers to the inclemency of the weather, insufficient or total absence of furniture for students and teachers. According to him, Technical education has been neglected. Funding, understaffing are just some of the bane of educating a child. But there is a solution. The sharing up of education in Nigeria is the responsibility of all the stakeholders. The government, parents, teachers, religious and non-religious organizations, non-governmental organizations, alumni associations like yours, philanthropies and communities. Speaking from another informed standpoint, this old boy adds his voice to what constitutes the mission link. The period when the government took over the schools from the missions, um, that's a period I wish didn't happen. But, you know, some things happen and maybe there's a positive result that will come out of it. Um, we'll put it behind us and, um, and just uh, forge ahead. Founded on the solid foundation of the scriptures, Babs Akkad stands out like a colossus in academic excellence, scoring 100% at the last WIAC examinations and still inching for more. We dream of a world-class institution. We don't want to limit ourselves to the shores of Nigeria. When we are talking about world-class institution, it means it can, the school can compete with any other schools outside the shores of Nigeria. Every year the old boys come together, it's always nostalgic. And to build on that, they set out to achieve a milestone. For this year, they are advocating for a better appreciation of education in Nigeria. Of school, Olu Phillips, Channel Television News. Governor Elf Ekiti states uh, Mr. Ayodele Fayoshe has been speaking on the dwindling monthly federal allocation and the need for Nigerians, especially youth, to look beyond oil as a revenue earner. The governor was addressing the 22nd convocation ceremony of the College of Education, Ikere Ekiti. Ikere in Ekiti state, he challenged the federal government to present the true state of the nation's economy to Nigerians and also charged the graduating students to be good ambassadors of the institution as they go into the labor market. In our history, this month's allocation is the worst in our history. This month's allocation, I go back from Israel yesterday, God, the allocation, the information for the allocation is the worst in our history. And I charge the federal government to come out straight. They should come out and tell Nigerians, they should come out and tell Nigerians. 
as a time to be collected. In another three months, if the idea is not taken, the economy of Nigeria will be in the I want all of us to look inward now. Don't wait until these things get to the level where they are not in the world. The oil now sells in the region of $40. In June 2014, I was going home at that time. We got 3.9 billion dollars allocation. This month I got 1.4. Mm. My weight bill is 2.6 billion. Governor of Ekiti State, Ayodele Fayoshe. When the news of 10 returns, Nigerians rush to beat deadline over bank verification number. We'll have that in a moment. Please stay with us.